Okay, so I haven't uploaded a video obviously since my Thailand vlog, which if you haven't watched that yet, pause this one and go watch that one because that video, I swear to God, is probably like one of my all-time favorite vlogs I think I've ever uploaded and it's just my pride and joy at the moment, so go watch it and then come back to this one. But anyway, we are back in New York. Obviously, you can tell I'm in my bedroom and my bags are packed. For my girl Lila's birthday, we are going to the Catskills this weekend and I've actually never been to like upstate New York, but I'm from like the outskirts of Philly, so I'm kind of, I feel like it'll be the same, but I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna be pleasantly surprised. Anyway, this is gonna be a quick little intro because I wanted to intro you into um, this little, I don't know if it's just gonna be the Catskills vlog or if I'm gonna prolong this into next week, but anyway i'm happy to be vlogging again i took like a little bit of a, a break after my thailand vlog just because i was like i i was editing that for days probably like a solid week i was editing that like non-stop but so I, like i was like you know what i just need to like a little creative reset and now i am back ready to get into the groove of just the daily the weekly vlogs so anyway we're meeting at the rental car place at 1 and it's currently 12.30 right now. So, we need to get going. I'm so excited. It's literally 50 degrees and sunny today and I'm like, ooh, is spring right around the corner? I'm so excited. Anyway, let's get on with the vlog and let's go meet up with the girls for Lila's B-Day weekend. She's turning 25. Enjoy the vlog. our soccer mom. So you walk in, I'm obsessed with this paneling on the walls, and we have this beautiful open floor plan. Gorgeous. Lots of room for yoga or dancing yes. over here. We have a wild We have the kitchen. And Gorgeous. The Look at the girly singing a little selfie. And then oh my god, stunning. Uh, and then this Look at this. Place. Okay, and then the outside yeah. is the best part. <laughs> Give us a little. Oh, look at the view. It's so pretty. Oh my god, this is gonna be. We I are just gonna we're, be the We're gonna live our little wellness girly journeys out here. We're gonna come out here and journal and drink our coffee. Oh I love it. Oh my god, it's so cute here. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. <gasps> Look at the Say hi and show them your little jumpsuit. Emily is wearing the cutest little jumpsuit today. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Oh, so cute. <laughs> Alex is currently chopping up some some fruit for us. Uh oh. Some fresh strawberries. Alex has had a full morning. I just woke up. Coffee and a wine glass. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And you guys, I woke up and look at my eyeball. Why is it like that? I think, I don't know if it's a sty or what, but I woke up and I was like, oh, my eyelid hurts. Don't know what that is. Emily, is it mine? Anyway, made myself a little iced coffee with, guess what? Khalifa. Shout out, Khalifa Farms. 
Anyway, I think today we're just gonna have a super chill little morning. Morning in the mountains. And tonight we have our fancy dinner night. So, anyway, I will check in with you guys once I've had my coffee. Don't talk me to different for me I feel like usually I'm either a solid core girl or a core power girl but today we are doing New York Pilates because sometimes it's like it's like an easy hard workout you know like sometimes I just don't feel like sweating and so today we're just gonna do some Pilates I do have a style on my eye, so that was a buzzkill. I, Cause I wanted to vlog yesterday, but yesterday I woke up and I literally was like, oh my God, like <laughs> it was so bad. Like I, it's still bad today. Like I can't really like open my eye fully, but yesterday was even worse. Cause it was just so puffy and like so irritated and <sighs> just like hurt really bad. So I didn't vlog at all yesterday. And then today, I did Pilates this morning. I'm not crazy about that Pilates place, but I'll give you guys a little rundown of that later because I need to get some stuff done. I need to film for Cleafy Farms. And I'm gonna do a fun little like St. Patrick's Day coffee. And I need to like see how that plays out because I have green food dye and I wanna make like a green cold or like cold foam, but I don't know. We're, we're gonna just play around, see what looks good. But anyway, wanted to start the vlog here and hope you guys enjoy. And I'm hoping this dye goes away by tomorrow so that I can like really chat with you guys. Okay, you guys, it is much later in the day. And I, because it's just like such a beautiful day out, I was like, you know what? I need to go take a walk. Also because I've been listening to an audiobook that I genuinely like really like and I'm listening to Shoe Dog and I actually did buy that book but there's just something about like non-fiction books that I just feel like are so much easier to listen to than they are to read sometimes, especially memoirs. Like I feel like memoirs, I have such a hard time like actually getting into like reading the physical book but if I'm listening to it and I'm like on a walk, I'm like, ooh. I don't know it just like can capture my attention um also because i've just been in like such a podcast rut i feel like every single episode i listen to now is just kind of like the same thing over and over again because i like a certain genre you know like i like my mindset 
and like wellness podcasts but the thing about that is that sometimes it just gets kind of repetitive if the guest isn't really interesting you know what i mean and i mean i have listened to some really great podcasts which i'm not sure if i've ever really mentioned this before but i do have a playlist on my spotify of all of my favorite like mindset fitness like wellness podcasts that i just like curated in a little playlist for you guys so if you want to go listen to like if you're also in a podcast rut and need recommendations and also like that genre then go check out the playlist but anyway i just changed into another workout set because i'm doing my laundry right now and i was like whoops i mean i guess that would have been kind of gross if i had changed into the workout set that i literally had on earlier today but anyway i am gonna go take a little walk on the west side highway and just soak in the sun i just love spring you guys like i'm so just excited for the warm weather. I'm like, to my core, I am such a warm weather girl. So this is just a beautiful day. Went to salad core this morning. I've decided that I like salad core like way more than I like New York Pilates just because there's something about New York Pilates that like every time I go, I feel like my hip flexors hurt so much and I don't know why. Like, I don't know if it's like the reformer that they have, but I don't know. I don't know. But I just, I'm a, I'm a solid core girl. But anyway, I got changed because I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop. I didn't actually end up working yesterday at a coffee shop because it just like got too late in the day and I was like, I had shit to do. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do my shit at home. But today I'm actually gonna go to a coffee shop and try to like get the rest of my editing done. But anyway, I'm gonna go down to a coffee shop that's close to the Sephora because since I had a fucking dye on my eye i can't use any of the makeup i should like i knew better and i still didn't i still didn't not use my products but anyway now i have to throw them out and get new stuff because i don't want another sty because that was really painful <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna make some lunch <laughs> to be like lush and filled with flowers. Anyway, right now I'm on my way to go work at the coffee shop. got her matching PJ set on. Guys, Victoria's Secret was having a three for 20 sale and I bought matching PJs and they are just like so comfortable. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys my March book club book of the month and I'm really excited to start reading it. I'm gonna start reading it tonight because I have been in like a fantasy kick. Sorry, I'm doing my laundry right now, but I, I've been in a fantasy kick and I finished 
um, Once Upon a Broken Heart. And that was actually, it, it definitely like filled the void of my like fantasy love. It wasn't like my favorite book I've ever read, but it did the job. Now I feel like I'm ready for another thriller book. I'm excited, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. And if you wanna join, there's always a link in my bio. I always take my little magnesium. This is magnesium glycinate. And I pop these bad boys. They're big. Like, look how big those are. Usually like an hour before I go to bed. Or like two hours. So usually like 8.39. And I swear to God, they actually work. My magnesium and then my ashwagandha, which I, which I talked about in another one of my little like self-care nights. But... This shit, I'm literally gonna buy another bottle. This is already my second bottle and I'm gonna get another one because it works like a charm. I'm gonna take some. I mean, it tastes absolutely foul, but I think it works. Mm.